Hi everyone, I'm Liam. I'm still in Manchester and today I'm very excited. We're going to go on a guided tour of Old Trafford, the football stadium for one of the biggest football clubs in the world, Manchester United. Let's go! Well, this is the Manchester United logo. It's got a pretty cool emblem with the red and the yellow. I guess this would be the Red Devil. Two footballs on either side. To be honest, I never actually noticed that there was a boat here on top. When I was a young boy, I also wanted to play for Man United. Turns out I have some physical limitations, so I can't do that. <laughs> Let's see, here it says something about the beginnings of the club. Okay, it was founded in 1878, but oh, it was only named Manchester United after 1902. Ah, and during the Second World War, the stadium was severely damaged by German bombs and United temporarily relocated to Main Road, Manchester City's crowd. Nowadays, I think Manchester United fans would find it almost sacrilegious to play in Manchester City. So only during war would something like that be accepted. Here we have a wall full of famous Manchester United players. George Best. This is before my time, before I was born. But here's a guy I do remember, Wayne Rooney. That was when I started watching football when I was interested in when I became interested in football when I was a kid and I watched Wayne Rooney play together with Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously, the man, the myth, the legend, David Beckham himself. Could be the most famous football player. Oh, there's so many trophies in here. Clearly, Manchester United is a successful club. It's in 97, the year I was born. 1972, way before I was born. I wonder where the Champions League trophies are. Okay, I can see some of the trophies that they won over there. I think you can take a picture with them. Let's do it. Can I have a photo? Yes. Yep. So stand here. Yep. You can't touch them, that's all, but you can do a bit of that. All right. Okay. Yeah. These are the real trophies, yeah? Well, they are actual replicas of our trophies. We're not allowed to keep them. Two, three. This one, please. This one here. Do a thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. So I look so one. pleased. You like that one. That looks amazing. And the other one? <laughs> I don't. I think I like that one better. Do you? Really? I look crazy on that one. <laughs> Maybe the first one is better. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that That's one. That's the best one, one yeah, isn't yeah. it? All right. Let's see. Beautiful. I feel like Jesse Lingard. Like I've just won the Premier League. Three Premier Leagues at once. <laughs> Okay, we're a bit late. We're going to a guided tour. Let's go. We're going into the stadium now. Wow. This is crazy. I've only ever seen this on TV. It's such an interesting feeling to be this close. I can almost smell the grass. It's really... It's kind of a surreal feeling being this close to the action. Oh, the action the grass, even though nothing's happening, it feels like the action. I can just imagine what it's like seeing Lingard and Lukaku and Sanchez and all the players running around here scoring goals and the whole crowd roaring. I need to come back here when there's an actual match. <laughs> even the tour guide is excited. This is the room where they have press conferences. After every game, the two managers come in here and give a press conference. Always the visiting manager comes in here first. The next stop is the VIP lounge. Very important people. Does anyone know who this is? Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. Fastest man in the world. He comes in here. Not for long, and he's gone. <laughs> Very fancy indeed. We're approaching the locker room now. I wonder what it's like inside. I hope it doesn't smell too bad. Wow. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. We've got Lindelof, 
from Sweden. So this is Alexis, Alexis Sanchez's spot in the locker room. And in the beginning, this drinks cabinet opened this way, but he didn't like the fact that the cold air went in his face, so they had to change it so it opens this way. I don't know, I thought it was a funny story. Alexis gets what he wants. International team, Alexis from Chile, Linda from Sweden, oh, this is brilliant, we've got Rashford, English guy, Romelu Lukaku. How big is it? Lukaku's a big guy. They all look like they're in the same size. So I thought Lukaku's would look a bit bigger. Yeah, you'd have thought so, but yeah. it's not, because it's... It's very tight. It's children wise it's quite a thing, but then it, it you know, it's only it's narrow because he, yeah. you know, he's not, he's not got any... Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Martial, Amata, Lingard, Pogba. This was an expensive purchase, let me tell you. Any questions, anybody, about the change of room? Anyone like to ask? Where are the showers? Through, Where? through there. Right. Oh, through there. You can't go into the shower area. All right. yeah. Basically, because it's all um, disinfected. Nice dressing room. Now we're going to approach the dugout. Now we're very close to the action, indeed. I feel like a Manchester United player. It's very big. Oh, let me see Sir Alex Ferguson stand. Named after the legendary manager, Sir Alex Ferguson. Yeah. Was so good, he got knighted. One of the most successful managers of all time, respected by Manchester United supporters and rivals alike. <laughs> What a great experience. It was amazing to finally see a stadium that I've watched so many years before on the telly. What's your favorite sports team? Leave a comment below and the best comment can win this Manchester United scarf. And make sure you tune in to next episode, which is a holiday special. See you next time.